Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, we're gonna talk about the topic of whether or not dogs and cats and other pets can live on a vegan diet. Now, this is a topic that's been circulating for a while now, but I get the question a lot about what my opinion is on certain things, especially whether or not dogs or cats or other animals for that matter should be fed a vegan diet or if they can survive on a vegan diet. So I'm going to be talking about that with you guys. For anyone who's new here, I am vegan and I personally am on a plant-based diet. I don't eat meat, don't eat dairy, and I have a lot of animals that are obligate carnivores and they do eat meat and I feed it to them because I personally don't think it's right to try and force my diet on an animal that naturally thrives off of a different diet. So I'm gonna be talking about whether or not you can actually do it and also kind of whether or not you should do it. So the main question here is whether or not, you know, specifically dogs and cats, but also other animals, if they can live on a vegan diet. And a lot of you guys might be thinking to yourself right now, of course, the answer is no, they cannot live on a vegan diet. And much to your surprise, the answer to that question actually isn't no. The answer is kind of, which isn't very reassuring, I know, but I'll elaborate. So dogs and cats are very different. They're two different species of animals, so you can't really group them together and say, can dogs and cats live on a vegan diet? When I first found out that people fed their dogs and cats vegan diets, I thought that it was crazy because I was like, why would anyone do that? Like, that's not right. Wild dogs and cats aren't vegan, so why would you want to make them vegan when they're in your house? And it was even more shocking to me when I found out that there's actually commercial diets that you can buy at the pet store that are vegetarian and vegan, and they're made for dogs and cats to eat. I was shocked that there are actually companies out there making vegan dog foods and vegan cat foods or vegetarian and whatever else, because I was like, that can't be healthy, that cannot be good for them. But then, when you think about it a little bit further, it's not that shocking because there are plenty of dog food companies out there that put out horrible dog foods, horrible cat foods that are, you know, just very bad, not nutritious, can actually make your animals sick, but plenty of people go out and buy them. And I wanted to make a whole video on like dog and cat nutrition and what foods you should be feeding your dog and cat because a lot of these animal food companies that are really big, like Purina is a big one I know. I can't even name any other ones. I know Purina is really big. They make like everything, like they make Beneful and Alpo and all that other gross junk. And I'm personally just very picky with what I feed my animals. I wanna give my animals the most nutritious and best high quality foods possible. For me, it's just like a no brainer that I would wanna research what dog food is the highest quality and like the closest to what they could get in the wild. And I actually like, am on the brink of switching Nova onto a raw diet where I just feed her raw food because that's like the best thing you can possibly do for your dog. But anyways, it wasn't shocking to me after I thought about it a little deeper that there are companies that make vegan and vegetarian dog foods because they don't care about the animal's actual nutrition or health or anything like that. They just care about making money and profiting off of people who are vegan and vegetarian and want to make their pet vegan and vegetarian as well. So I did some research and like I said, basically the answer I found is you kind of can feed dogs a vegan diet. Cats are another story. Dogs are omnivores, meaning they eat meat, but they also eat fruits and vegetables in the wild among other things. So dogs are a lot more like opportunistic. They'll eat meat if they can hunt something down and kill it, they'll eat it. But they'll also eat fruits and veggies and whatever else they can find. So in their physiology, it's just like they can get a lot of nutrients from fruits and vegetables. Whereas cats on the other hand are strictly obligate carnivores, meaning in the wild, they pretty much mainly only eat meat. They hunt their prey and they eat it. If you look at cat food, they're much higher in protein content and meat content because they're obligate carnivores and they require a lot higher protein than dogs do. I'm gonna quote 
something that I found on Pets WebMD. This is a quote from a veterinarian. Lou Olson, who has a PhD and is the author of Raw and Natural Nutrition for Dogs, made the analogy that trying to feed a cat a vegan diet would be like feeding my horses meat. You're taking a whole species of animal and trying to force it to eat something that isn't designed to handle. Kaylin Hines, a veterinarian and a board certified veterinary nutritionist and assistant professor of nutrition at Tufts Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine said for cats, it's really inappropriate. It goes against their physiology and isn't something I would recommend at all. And then they went on to say for dogs, certainly vegetarian and vegan diets can be done, but they need to be done very, very carefully. There's a lot of room for error and these diets probably are not as appropriate as diets that contain at least some animal protein. So basically what they're saying is dogs, technically they can live and be pretty healthy on a vegan diet. However, it still isn't natural for them to be vegan or vegetarian. And if you're going to try and make your dog be vegan or vegetarian, you need to do it very carefully and do a lot of research. And you really have to make sure your dog is getting all of the proper nutrients and supplements and all of that stuff. And if you do anything wrong, ultimately you're risking your dog's life. It could, something could go wrong. Your dog could get, you know, something wrong with it and it could be bad. Cats, on the other hand, really, like, yes, they make vegan cat foods, but it just isn't in their physiology to be vegan. They get a lot of things from meat that they just cannot get from vegetables. And ultimately, there are just a lot of health risks with feeding your cat a vegan diet. So to go a little bit more deeper into this, it says vitamins A and D. Dogs and cats cannot make vitamin D in their skin, so it needs to be in their diet. And the vitamin D needs to be D3, which comes from animal sources, not D2, which comes from plant-based sources. Dogs can use D2 to some extent, but cats really need D3. Taurine, dogs can make taurine if provided the right building blocks through dietary protein. Cats cannot make their own taurine at all, so it is regarded as an essential amino acid in the species and must be present in adequate amounts in the diet. Both species can suffer taurine deficiencies. So risks of feeding your dog or cat a vegetarian or vegan diet are mainly inadequate protein intake, imbalance of certain amino acids, and also deficiencies in certain vitamins and minerals. Another risk with feeding a cat a vegan diet, and this is again a quote from veterinarian Dr. R. Miley May, DVM, CVA. Cats on a vegan diet can develop abnormally alkaline urine due to the more alkaline pH of plant-based proteins in comparison to the acidic pH of meat-based foods which cats have evolved to eat. So when the urine pH becomes too alkaline, there's increased risk of bladder crystals or stones. Calcium oxalate stones can also occur. It can create irritation and infection in the urinary tract and require veterinary treatment. So basically the whole answer is dogs technically can survive on a vegan diet if it's done properly and you monitor your dog's health and nutrition requirements very closely and you do your research, then it is possible. But with cats, there are a lot more risks since cats are obligate carnivores they do really need to eat meat. And I think it's wrong to try and force a vegan diet personally on anything that in the wild wouldn't naturally be vegan, but especially cats because they are obligate carnivores. This WebMD website does have a list of do's and don'ts for if you are, despite what I said, going to continue or begin feeding your dog or cat a vegan diet. And that is one, never feed vegetarian or vegan diets to puppies and kittens or to dogs and cats you plan to breed. Two, only consider or feed commercial diets that have gone through feeding trials and meets the requirements for AAFCO, which is the Association of American Feed Control Officials compliance. Three, consult with veterinary nutritionists who can analyze their commercial or homemade vegetarian pet diet and make recommendations for additional health safeguards. And four, schedule more frequent wellness exams, including blood work with your family veterinarian at least twice a year, even for young pets eating vegetarian diets. In conclusion, it is doable, but 
I personally wouldn't recommend it. Now with a lot of other pets, like I said, if it's not going to be in their diet in the wild, I personally just don't think you should force it upon them in your home. For example, I have snakes. Obviously you can't feed snakes anything other than the mice or rats that they have to be fed. I can't feed my snake a carrot. My bearded dragon has to eat insects. I can't just feed him lettuce all day. I'm vegan, but I'm not gonna force my diet on any other animals because it's my personal decision. I know that I can be healthy and survive on this diet and it's my personal choice, but dogs and cats can't really make that choice for themselves and it's not really up to us to make them be vegan or vegetarian if in the wild they're omnivores or they're obligate carnivores especially. So if you are vegan or you're vegetarian and you wanna get a pet but you don't want to you know, feed into the whole meat industry in any way whatsoever. Just don't get a dog or a cat. Don't get something that eats meat. You can get a rabbit or something. Get some rabbits. Rabbits are vegan. So yeah, that's my whole take on the vegan pets situation. I know there are plenty of people out there who feed their animals vegan or vegetarian diets and they say that they haven't had any issues. But it's just in my opinion that it's not worth taking all of those risks just to make your dog or cat like not eat meat, you know? I hope you guys found this video to be helpful or interesting in some way. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week, subscribe to my vlog channel and follow me on all my social medias. The links to those will be down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video.